Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the online dice rolling tool Roll for Your Party to set up a specific set of dice that you can use to play a variety of different board games in an online setting. Uh, in this example, I'm going to show you how to set up the dice set for the board game Quix, which is a roll and write game, meaning that you'll look at the results on dice and fill out this special sheet. Um, and the dice are specific to this game. A specific set of six-sided dice of different colors are used. And so that's why we need to use the special tool. And if you'd like to learn more about how to play Quix itself, the actual rules for the game, um, it's one of our top rated board games for online team building because it uh, allows for a wide range of player counts. Um, and you can find more about that at protospiel.online forward slash team building, which I'll put a link to in the description below. Um, but now how to use the uh, tool Roll for Your Party. So we'll just visit the link rollforyour.party. And when we do that, it will give us a specific uh, randomly created room code. Uh, so what you see here for me is different than what you'll see when you do it. And this means that you can share this link with your friends and you'll all see the same thing in your browser. Or you could choose to just make it yourself and then stream your browser screen and let everybody, and you can roll for it for everybody's turn and everybody can just watch your same screen, wh whatever works better for your group. But if everybody likes to be able to roll themselves um, and they think it's neat to kind of have the same browser open, the same, uh, being able to see what each other are doing in the browser, uh, you can also choose to share this link and you can even use this link over multiple plays. Uh, if you play it more than once, you can just remember that this is the one that you set up. You set it up once and you can use it over and over for your group. But you wouldn't want to share it outside of the group with lots of different people because it's this one, if two groups try to use it at the same time, they'd be rolling the dice on top of each other. So for that reason, you don't want to use the link I'm showing you here. But I'll show you how to set up your own now. Um, you see that there's uh, D4 through D20. This means a four-sided die or a 20-sided die. And so we've got a wide variety of different ones that we can use for quicks. Uh, these kind of things can be used in tabletop role-playing games commonly. Uh, this was more created for that sort of thing, but it also will work for quicks. But the D6 is what we're, uh, most people are all very familiar with from playing Yahtzee or um, Monopoly when they were young. Uh, same kind of dice that we use there. So six-sided, then it's six-sided with the numbers one through six on the faces as well. So it's not going to be a die with one through three twice. It's going to be all six numbers. So if you have a game that has something like that, it won't work for this. But uh, anyway, we need, actually we need, we have white as the color selected and we need two of those actually. So white, two D6, submit. And now we have two of those. We also need our one blue die, our one green, our one yellow, and one red. And that's all we need. Now, the one drawback of this tool is that there is no multi-select for like click and drag all the dice or uh, just push a button to select all the dice. You have to click each one individually. You can see it's selected. It's got a big red square. And then to roll, we hit reroll selected. And you see that it unselects everything as soon as you roll. So you'll need to do it again every time, which is a little bit of a hassle, but overall it's a pretty neat tool that uh, makes something pretty cool possible in the first place. So you also can move these around uh, one at a time or multiple at a time like this. You have to click again to deselect. Oh, and you don't even have to pre-click to just move them around, but you do have to pre-click to roll them. And you want to make sure always in this game, you always need to roll all of them at once. But you also have the option to roll just a few at a time. And then also, if you make a mistake or you just want to change what this room code is used for, you can select them and say delete selected, which I'm going to do right now just to make sure nobody's tempted to skip the step of creating their own set of dice and potentially creating a bad experience for you. If, you're, if you and somebody else get the idea at the same time, you might be uh, fighting with each other to use the 
dice set. Um, and that's all there is to this tool. Also, it has this window shade here. If you happen to see this closed, you'll notice that the um, roll button isn't available, so you'd want to open it again. And um, I hope you enjoy using the tool, and uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below.